Welcome to part 9 of my Call of Duty playthrough. Alright. Right here we're just going to run a little bit of an experiment. Just to see what would happen if I let the helicopter land on me. And it turns out, this game is just as realistic as it says it is. And you get crushed and die. <laughs> so make sure you don't get landed on. It's not too pleasant. So wasting ammo while we wait. It's always fun to do. Guys are that could have been bad. Alright, let's get out of here and Yes. A great level storyline wise and pretty good level gameplay wise, and you'll see why. There's just one teeny bit of it that I don't like but whatever. And I'm talking about the storyline. Shock and awe is the title. Ugh. Lock and load. Okay, so first you get this awesome gun. Oh yeah. Um. Don't don't shoot this because you might accidentally hit a helicopter or a tank that's on your side, and things don't go too well when that happens. Like right here, I'm just shooting down randomly and boom, there's a guy right there. A tank. Friendly fire will not be tolerated. Yeah, whatever. It's very barren land. There's nothing but palm trees. And even those are scarce. Alright, coming up there's a bridge, and right by the bridge are some people you can kill. So kill them, They're right there, by the truck. And those tanks right there are tanks, bad tanks, don't like those tanks. Those are the Op 4. This is a very explosive level. And there is one explosion you won't see coming. You might now, now that I said that, or you might have already known because you've played it, but whatever. Watch this, you can shoot the statue and knock it down. How awesome is that? Well, you could do that in the online. I mean, just imagine, shoot an RPG at the head and like knock it down onto another player. Imagine how awesome it would be to get that kind of a kill. Just knock a statue on top of somebody. Wow, that's a big explosion. I guess gas tanks uh, make big explosions when you shoot them with big explosive bullets. I don't get the point of this. See, we're landing here, right? So we land. I blow up a car. So now the tanks are gonna roll through, crush the car. There's all the tanks. But now watch this. We take off again. What was the point of landing if we were just gonna take off again? I don't know. So this helicopter over there in the top left corner, he's going to go abandon us so we can go refuel. That's why you fill up before you leave, dipshit. God.
Alright, so now we gotta go uh, get some people. Search and rescue type mission. Miss what the hell did that list come from? A search and rescue type mission. But you don't really have to search much, because there's green smoke telling you where to go. And an arrow. Well, not really an arrow, we're part on your little compass thing at the bottom. So, I guess it's just a rescue mission. Bitch. I think I'd be a bit of an idiot here. And I rush. And I get hit from behind. Damn it! Oh, be the wizard, Steven. Be the wizard. Oh god, I was watching Survivor tonight. And there's this guy on there. He's just a complete fucking moron. He He's a soccer coach, so he calls himself coach. But I mean, he's always doing like this yoga crap where he's like, oh, I'm doing like these. I don't even know what with his hands and arms. Like, early in the morning. And then. He's just been weird recently. Oh yeah, he's telling like these bullshit stories about how he was dropped into the Amazon by a helicopter so he could kayak. And then he got abducted by indigenous people that beat him with clubs and looked up his ass and talked about eating his ass. Mm, yeah, that's believable. But yeah, <laughs> this guy Steven was being sent to Exile Island, so he's like, Be the wizard, Steven. Be the wizard. Everyone's just laughing. This guy's just... It's, it's hilarious. He's just a complete moron. And he thinks he's like in complete control of the game, but really he's not. At this point, I just, yeah, definitely not him. He is very uh, naive. Damn, that's a lot of guys shooting at me. I'm shooting them down. They don't stand a chance against me. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, you're gonna try to knock me down, huh? Well, how about I knife you? Let's go up here and get to the LZ. That's a way to kill a man when he's down. But really, when you think about it, I just put him out of his misery, so it's not bad per se. Mark 19! Nuclear device. That doesn't sound very good. So let's see. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Um. Oh. Damn it! That's not good. So there's the shock of this level. But if you thought that was intense, wait till you see the awe. Alright, so now this is where we're being complete idiots. And you'll see why. So we're gonna go rescue this person. Cause the pilot's dead, as we'll find out later, but the there's one person still in there that's alive and she is trying to stave off everybody. See those shots coming from the helicopter? That's her with probably a pistol. So she's got like no means of protection whatsoever. Keating is... Oh, that's the pilot. Okay. No, the pilot's not dead. Keating is dead. So why did they pick Keating? Why not Sanford or Johnson? Why Keating? Makes you wonder sometimes. Like maybe someone doesn't like someone they know named Keating. Alright, so let's go pick her up. And get the hell out of here. So this is actually really easy. At least it is on recruit normal or regular, whatever it is. 
If all you gotta do is just go and pick her up and get back as fast as you can. And then. Probable. That's not that. Um. Fuck. That's all I can say. If, dude, if that grenade had killed me, you know how pissed I'd be? Because there's nothing you could do. So that would be really cheap. Alright, let's get out of here before this nuke goes off. Jeez. Confirmed. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Alright, that concludes part 8 of my Call of Duty 4 playthrough. I'll see you next time in part 9 where we'll see what happens to our character. But right now, kaboom, we're down by the nuke. So that's the off. Pretty off.